Me Too is a sudden, almost explosive movement with women finding the courage in the face of harassment and discrimination to say, it happened to Me Too. Tonight, a state lawmaker who wants to take the movement to the next level more than 30 years after she became a silent victim and nearly three years after she shocked her colleagues on the floor of the Ohio House. She is sharing her story publicly for the very first time. I heard all these stories that just fit your scenario, and I, I respect that. But you don't respect my reason, my rape. A hush fell over the floor of the state house. My abortion. I heard man after man after man. The speech was unplanned. I just, something in me just couldn't sit there any longer. You know, almost 17 years of being condemned. And God loves me too. I fought in the military for that freedom. And for all those women in the military who were raped, and I see people laughing. I don't appreciate that. Laughter as she begged in vain for her colleagues to include in the controversial heartbeat abortion bill an exception for victims of rape. But what you're doing is so fundamentally unhuman, unconstitutional. And I've sat here too long. Nearly 35 years ago, Fetter was raped while serving in the Air Force. And like so many victims of rape, she did not tell. And that affects your, your career, it affects your paycheck, it affects your children if you have them, your husband, your family, your mom, you know, your dad. I've had so many men tell me they're upset. And inside the walls of the state house, women are now opening up to Fetter, saying, Me too. I want them not to stand on my shoulders. I want them to launch from my shoulders. She wants them to launch into a movement that gives women a voice, allows them to fight for equal pay, to be believed when they say, Me too. We are not equal citizens in this country. We do not have equal rights. We are second-class citizens. Fetter says no woman wants to be raped or harassed at work. And the sexual harassment policy inside the state house? It's not worth the paper it's written on. And the enforcement? Zero tolerance? <laughs> Needs to be defined. The sexual harassment policies were put together by men. They were enforced by men. But. Fetter says women are speaking up and men are starting to listen. She wants to see an end to what she calls the hostile work environment inside the state house. And she wants a chorus of women sharing their stories and being believed. I am so hopeful that the me too is like, wow, there are more me's. Me too. And like something I found interesting, she said all those years after the initial rape, just getting up and saying it out loud in front of other people, for about a year after that, she thinks she was suffering from PTSD because it was just such a shock to tell someone and she told an entire room full of people and as you saw, was being recorded right. at the time. What an incredibly brave move to be motivated at that point yeah. to take that step as yeah. well. Yeah, and now she says she's hearing from a lot of young women. And in the coming weeks, we're going to be sharing more stories from young women and other women about Me Too and the whole movement.